everybody! Welcome to a video game called Fortnite. Um, I guess this was a big deal, because I guess this game has been under development for like seven years or something like that. I don't remember the exact year off the top of my head. But uh, this game was kind of in a development hell for a long time. Um, but a lot of people are really excited about it. Uh, I got a key for it, so I was like, cool, this sounds like a lot of fun, and I don't really know much beyond that. But I... It's a it's an Epic Games game, and they haven't released anything in a long time. They just published this one, though. They didn't actually develop it. Uh, it was developed by People Can Fly Studios or something. Um, and, yeah, this should be a lot of fun. It's a open-world-esque kind of survival thing. You can modify the landscape and stuff like that. Somebody described it to me as a mixture of uh, Left 4 Dead meets Minecraft, so... That could be really cool, or it could wind up like all the other games that tried to be Left 4 Dead cross with Minecraft and ended up crashing out and burning really badly. I have faith in this one, though, because the presentation in it is pretty cool. <laughs> okay, that's a, um, that's a cool way to start things off. Let me go ahead and uh, get my password real quick. And we'll just pop this in uh, right now. Good thing that those were stars, right? Otherwise, you'd be able to steal my identity. But that is one of the less glamorous ways I've seen a, a video game beginning. Uh, somebody told me that, yeah, as soon as you start up the game, a bunch of tutorials start playing out and a lot of cutscenes and stuff like that. So I wanted to make sure I was capturing all of this, but here we go. Welcome to the Founders Early Access. We appreciate the faith you've shown in us by becoming one of our founders. We continue to work hard to improve Fortnite. Remember, Fortnite is a welcoming place. All right, sounds good. Uh, confirm, automatically apply the best settings, sure. Wow, all right, starting tutorial mission. This is what I was expecting to see, is that you don't even get to a main menu before the tutorial starts. I don't want to be caught off guard by that. So thankfully a whole lot of people um, you know, warned me ahead of time, like, make sure you're recording before you actually start up the game because it, it will throw you immediately into a cutscene. So, I guess this is the four that were left for dead. Um, I don't know anything about these characters. I don't know their bios or anything like that. So, we're going to call this lady, um, we'll say, um, Jane, Jane Shootmore. And uh, she comes from Connecticut, and uh, she got her degree in um, architecture, and then it made... Oh, never mind. The storm came without warning. Meteorologists across the world were dead. Oh, shit. <laughs> a strange and powerful evil. Hamburgers. 98 of the percent of the population was vanished in an instant. At the end of the world. Your fight begins. Welcome to Harambe. <laughs> God damn, that was a very, very close by strike of lightning. <laughs> Fun fact, our mission was to prevent the storm from happening, so on to plan B. Plan B. You guys got anything? Anything? Come on. Defense call. Incoming. Oh, I think you just found our plan B. We're near it here. I'm requesting backup. Read you loud and clear. We have survivors in danger. The storm's closing in. Please hold. Do not put me on hold. Let's cut this. <laughs> 
Introducing the new Nintendo Virtual Boy. Alrighty, cool. So that's, I guess, the opening cutscene. Um, real quick, gonna turn up the game audio because I feel like that was rather on the quiet side, even for how I usually like to have things. So we're gonna bump that up a little bit, and uh, I guess now we're gonna dive into what this game is all about. So uh, I'm gonna help Ramirez, which means I'm going to take over her mind and kill all the zombies. Or, I, sorry, these are husks, and uh, it, far be it for me to actually get that incorrect there. Um, so let's, uh, let's... How it's done, Commander. Okay. Uh... It was pretty faint. You don't hear any sound. Well, you know, I, I hope that you can hear it now. I definitely bumped it up about, like, 30% volume. Alright. Uh, so... I can switch to the mine? Okay. So that... Here, I'm gonna check... I'm gonna test something really quickly. That has 25 health. If I shoot this thing, it... Doesn't appear to take take any damage at all. All right, well, fine. I guess I will. <coughs> I will have to use the pickaxe on it. It also looks like that. Um, in the upper left, it looks like I've got a number of resources available. So, I'm just gonna really quickly like mine up a bunch of things just to see what happens if I do that. So it looks like I can gain uh, bricks from hitting these rocks. It looks like I can gain uh, steel from hitting things that are made out of steel. And I assume if I come over here and whack on this bad boy... Oh. Yeah, I, I do get uh, wood as a resource. I don't know really why I did that. I am playing the tutorial, so I should probably be taught all these things as I, you know, actually play the tutorial. But there you go. <laughs> cool. So, uh, my current objective, I guess, is I need to find a way out of the caves. Um, I did it! God damn, I am the best. Oh. I guess this isn't, uh, out of the caves. Oh, yes it is. Yes! I am the best at this game ever. Enter build mode, eh? Alright, what is build mode? Q. Stairs. And then R to rotate. Alright. Can I walk in this while it's building? Yes, I can. Okay, that's interesting to note. So the... I guess the, the game will let you walk on things and they'll give it a hitbox before it's 100% made. And I guess that, um, I'm assuming that I would use the traps to also, or I should say, I would probably also use the resources I have at my disposal to make the, to make the traps that I have available to me. Um, what those traps are, I don't really know yet. Sword trees and vehicles to harvest the resources you need for a spare gun. Cool. You can do that real quick. Uh, good on them for highlighting everything in my <laughs> that'll that'll need. <laughs> it's kind of a nice little outline feature that they have going on there. Um, there's it, it's very interesting to me. I've worked with the Unreal Engine a little bit, and things like displaying outlines around 3D models is actually like a lot harder than you would expect it would be. Uh, they have a very interesting way of doing it where they're not doing the entire silhouette in a single outline. If you look here, they kind of have these lines going in. So that suggests to me that they're doing um, not so much a special shader or outline type effect, but rather it's a material that they have built into the game. So they kind of have this weird physicality to the outline rather than what you normally would expect. But it certainly is a lot easier to make that um, actually than co programming your own shader. Uh, for people who don't know what I'm talking about, um, Whoops. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and make this thing, I guess. I uh, just randomly double-clicked on it until eventually I figured it out. So one thing that's kind of weird about this game is that this mini-map is rather spartan. I don't really see anything that says, like... Uh... That, that, yeah. Oh, I know what these things are called. They're called husks. Wow, these people are really bad at shooting. These people are really, really bad at shooting. <laughs> anyway, uh, the mini-map is, like, rather spartan, in my opinion. I don't see a whole lot of things that indicate, like, here's, um... Here's, like, some walls and stuff like that. It's just, uh, in enemy indicators as well as, I'm gonna assume, eventually it'll be, like, player indicators and stuff like that as well. Okay, I'm gonna make my way into the fort itself and get behind some cover here real quick so I'm not uh, caught out in the in the uh, death grounds with uh, without any sort of cover um, I wonder if there's like a, a well I was gonna say this is uh, I wonder if there's a cover shooter system but then I realized that makes no damn sense because nobody else is shooting at me Hermano? That's Spanish for car. Okay, what do I need to make? Uh, place floor traps in the highlighted floor tiles. Well, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do... Our stair... Our stairs a trap? Uh, this is off to a bad start. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. inside the bunk <laughs> open well I will give this game credit it has a very very nice style to it I uh, it's clean it's catchy it's flashy you know it's good stuff these are all the survivors real uh, real useful looking people here everyone loves um, high school graduate and fake-ass cowboy Oh look, they're backed up by accountant man, and what? Why does nobody like look at me? Every time I go near somebody, they like stare. Whoa! <laughs> All right. First they weren't able to look at me. Now they're really, really good at looking at me. What are we gonna shoot her? Nope. Okay. Uh, I was gonna sass her based on her physical appearance, but I guess I can't come up with anything too creative, so. We'll just, uh, let her be completely unassuming and, um, go completely uh, unmade fun of in her life. Some seriously weird readings here. What's on the other side of that wall? No clue. So I can... Find a way in. I can what can that. I do here? I can make a door by... Click on the center tile and the one below it to reconfigure the building. Oh, okay. Neat. And then I confirm it. Oh. Okay, I click, and I click, and then I hit confirm, nice and there we go, that worked. I wonder if I could have just done this, actually. Uh, oh, it's getting repaired every time I heard it, I think. Yeah, it is automatically healing itself. I could eventually tear that door down if I really felt, oh. Oh. Okay. Anyway. Oh. Back to focusing in. Is, here the whole time? is this a missile or some sort of rocket? Some sort of rocket. Actually, wait. It's the best sort of rocket. Commander, there's a satellite on board. If we have a satellite, we can guide Ramirez and the survivors back to our home base. Then let's launch this thing. We can also accomplish the same thing by, I don't know, walking? Because I was able to do that. I would... I didn't need a goddamn GPS to find my way over here anyway. We have the opposite of liftoff. Oh. Uh, that's strange. Someone converted this rocket to run on blue glow. Okay then, let's find some blue glow. Explore the rooms near the rocket. There should be some blue glow close by. 
Well, uh, whoever came up with the substance of Blue Glow at least knew exactly how to name it. It's sort of like Einsteinium. You know, you see that shit, and it's made of a bunch of little Einstein. I don't know. Let's go ahead and just plonk these things into the rocket. That's enough. Add the blue glow to the rocket. Great. Now get outside before you're engulfed in flaming rocket exhaust. Well, hang on. Oh, okay. We need to keep that rocket safe until launch. I was planning on just seeing what would happen oh, if I, uh... Just sat there and got engulfed in rocket flames, but it doesn't look like it's gonna actually let me do that, unfortunately. Get out of there! I think I can hold it. All right, we gotta go help Lenny, my favorite NPC from any video game ever. Oh, it's the tank. Uh, I think that fallback will only happen for another couple of months or so. Well, whatever. Uh, let's see. Oh, I, I did not realize this, but Mar Ramirez can really jump. Oh, no. How... I, I think that that thing killed Lenny. This is the, this is just the worst turn of events. I'll always remember Lenny as the guy who stood in the tower and had the sunglasses and was like, Oh, Ramirez! <laughs> truly, truly a character that will uh, live in our hearts and our minds. Until the end of time. I mean, what do you expect from a NPC in a... Oh, what the hell is this? Are these, like, baby zombies? They're faster than the other zombies, but, like... They don't... Uh... This raises a very interesting point. To make zombie babies, do you need to zombify a baby? Or do the babies make the zombie? Wait. Damn it! <laughs> uh... So, fun fact about my life. Trying to cut back on, um... The amount of caffeine I've been drinking, and it has dramatically warped my ability to think and to put together sentences. Like, I have, over the past couple of days, people will, like, ask me things, and I will respond with pretty close to the equivalent of nonsense. But, let's go ahead and blow everything up. That's kind of neat. I wonder how that works. Can I do it again? Um, no. I guess I will unlock that ab ability more as I play through the game. Hmm. Not too sure what the what exactly triggered the ability to launch those things. It was just like, hey, if you get this thing, you can you can you can blow people up with it. But I didn't really get the bigger picture of like why I was allowed to launch a a, a missile strike there. Yeah, that place that you walked 50 feet away from earlier. You clearly forgot where it was. We need to invent GPS to get that back to work. Why would the GPS systems even be down? It's like the zombies went into space and grabbed all the satellites out of the air. <laughs> oh, great. They're in space, too. <laughs> Let's see what that 